So if you're saying, are we out of the pandemic phase in this country? We are. We are. We are. Dr. Fauci says we are no longer treating COVID as a pandemic. Instead, we're transitioning toward the control or endemic stage. Endemic? Endemic. 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 Dr. Fauci calls it a transition. When you look at pandemics, there are five ways of looking at it in what I call different phases. Elimination or eradication is getting rid of the pathogen forever. We can't do that with COVID. We could only do that with smallpox. It's the only virus we've ever eradicated. So let's forget about eradication. We have too many animal reservoirs for one thing with COVID. So what does control mean? Control, namely get out of the fulminant acute pandemic phase where you have 900,000 infections a day tens of thousands of hospitalizations, 3,000 deaths per day, and get to a level low enough so that it doesn't disrupt the society, either economically, socially, from the standpoint of what we can do in schools and in jobs. Do you agree with Dr. Fauci that we are out of the pandemic stage? Well, there are a few operative words here, Raj. We're out of the pandemic phase in this country but it's still a pandemic in many parts of the world. So you think possibly the operative word number two is we are in transition. If a journey of a thousand miles uh, begins with a single step, we're probably at mile 800 or 900, but not quite there yet. It requires an acceptable number of deaths per year and it requires predictability. So we don't really have predictability. So we have so much immunity that even as our cases have gone up with BA2, we haven't seen severe disease go up in this country. And that really defines what's called endemic mm -hmm. management. It doesn't mean COVID's over. We figure out who needs boosters, who needs treatment, but we live with it. What does endemic mean? It means you're kind of back to normal life but there are two differences, I think. One is that we need to pay attention to ventilation because that helps us with all respiratory pathogens. And second is that anyone who wants to mask should wear a strong fit and filtered mask inside. So for example, my dad right now is wearing a mask inside. I'm not because um, I don't have the risk factors he does. In terms of normal, I think it could be better. You know, I think as a society, we have learned how to take care of each other, how to look out for the most vulnerable, how to recognize vulnerable populations. 